Hello, in this video we are going to show you how to implement Vongo to display video ads in your game using the Cocos Helper. First of all, what you want to do is make sure that you've integrated the Cocos Helper, aka set it up for iOS. If you're on Android, don't worry, there'll be a video for Android as well. But if you haven't set it up, don't worry, there's a link in the description. So what you want to do is go to Vongo.com first then sign up for a free account and then once you've signed up just go to add app and obviously just select your platform for us it's iOS then name it so if your app is already on the app store you can search for it the one we are doing isn't so I'm just gonna put not Charpoo sorry Vongo add app and then just let it search you'll try and search for an app if a bunch of apps pop up but that's not one of yours you just do add new uh, app ID you can put yourself but I'm just gonna leave it blank and it will generate one for me orientation I'm going to put both type of application paid free does it really matter for now no uh, for category and for games the only really two required fields are the name and the category call that URL all of this stuff you can generally generally leave unless you know what you're doing and if you want to find out more just check out the Vongo documentation Let's click create and what we're going to be actually using is the app ID this one right here let's just set it to active mode the reason we're not gonna have you on test mode is because test mode doesn't receive as in it doesn't show ads and as long as you don't create start pressing the buttons like crazy and opening loads of ads one after each other to try and earn revenue it'll be okay so we're gonna need this app ID but, we, but before we use that let's go to our actually you know what I'm gonna get this right now so it's over and done with copy and paste that go to the sch file and in here just enable Vongo and then you want to just copy and paste the ID right here and now the next step is to actually add the frameworks so to add these frameworks if we just go to build phases click plus and what I've done is just put it in a text editor so I can see them easily. But all the frameworks are next to the toggle in the settings file. So we need add support dot framework. We need audio toolbox which already exists, AV Foundation, which already exists, CF Network, gotta be able to spell it first, core graphics, which is already here, core media. Foundation, which is right here. We need the libz.dy lib. We need the lib sqlite. So lib sqlite free.dy lib. Media player.framework. We need quartz core. Actually, I know quartz core is already added. If it ain't, just add it yourself. Store kit.framework. System configuration dot framework and finally UI kit dot framework. There we go. So the last thing that we actually need to do is go to the Cocos Helper folder that you get from. Oh shit! I just moved something. Oh, let's get rid of that. Sorry for saying the S word then. What you want to do is go to GitHub. You already have this downloaded if you've already done the setup video. And you want to go to the iOS framework folder. Extract the Vongo SDK embedded framework zip. And you'll get this folder. Vongo SDK embedded framework. Copy that. Go to frameworks. Just right click show in finder. You can paste it anywhere really in your project. It doesn't really matter. I've already got it in there. But I'm just going to replace and I'm just going to drag that onto my frameworks folder just make sure the options are set like this click finish and now what we're going to do is go to our hello world scene uh, actually I haven't set up the frameworks the helper but I'm not really going to explain it because like I said just do that using the other video which will be in the link in the description so that's all set up now when we click this close button, instead of closing the application, we're going to show an ad. So let's do Cocos Helper. And for this, we're going to do Vongo, colon, colon, show video Vongo. So there are two types of 
add uh, that you can do you can do incentivize so you pass in true and an incentivized ad is basically an ad that has an x pop-up in the corner after a few seconds and the reason is it allows you to cancel it and this type of ad is used if you are going to give a reward to the user so you allow them to get i don't know 100 gems for free without actually paying any money or if the user dies and they can continue where they left off by just watching that ad if you don't want that you can just put false we're just going to put true just change it to false afterwards and just check it out see what it is like so now that that is set to true we should now be ready to run this Let's confirm everything was set in here that looks a okay ignore the apple watch thing that's a simulator from before actually i'll hide that disabled the dragons have trusted your dwarves to protect their precious eggs. Plan and launch raids. Target your units. Discover and conquer new lands. Steal and hatch dragon's eggs to rule. So that was the X button I was saying. That's just to cancel it. So I'm going to click X again. So as you can see, the ads are working. If you go to the iOS results.mm file, this, these two functions are called from our helper section when a video is about to be showed and when a video is being or has been viewed so you can put c++ code in here because it's a dot mm file so what we're going to simply do is just do a ns log this is just objective c but again you can do whatever you want handle your game however you want uh, give the user some coins give them some gems that sort of stuff and i'm just going to say view to complete and um, for this I'm just going to put ns log. Oh, the lava done. <laughs> Deleted too much. ns log. Ah. And in here, I'm just going to put video is going to show soon. Rerun this. And when I click the button right here, it will say video is going to show soon. Okay, let's just click it again. Okay, see, video is going to show soon. Let's just pause the audio. So let's just let this finish. And once it's finished, it will say viewed complete once I've gone off the advert. So just wait 15 seconds. And like I said, this type of ad, like basically an incentivized ad, is used if you're rewarding the user. And these are used a lot. They're a great way of making money because it allows the user to get stuff that would otherwise be locked and you would have to pay for for free and they just have to watch an ad. So viewed complete, there you go. So let's just get rid of that. So that's how you implement Vungle video ads, incentivized and not incentivized into your Cocos project using the Cocos helper. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions.php. There'll be a link in the description to that. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.